The information presented in this film summarizes portions of the operating manual for the Ascension Protégé portable wheelchair lift and should not be used as or considered a substitute for the operating manual. Please refer to the operating manual for complete instructions. Now that you have received your new Ascension Protégé portable wheelchair lift, please watch this video to gain the maximum benefit from its use. This lift has been designed with both the user and facility in mind. It provides the user with safe access to a stage and your facility with maximum flexibility and ease of use. Because it is transportable, the lift can be quickly set up for use when needed or put into storage when not needed. The lift can be used at almost any stage or platform up to 42 inches high. By watching this disc, you will become familiar with the operation and features of the protege. Please view all of the six sections before attempting to set up and use the lift. For easy reference, you may navigate to each section from the main menu. Please refer to any section as many times as necessary. The lift has the following safety features. The ground fault circuit interrupter is located at the plug end of the power cord. This automatic electrical device isolates the lift from the power source should an electrical ground fault occur. This device should be periodically tested by pressing the test button and making sure that power to the lift is interrupted. The device is restored by pressing the reset button. Please note that when an extension cord is used with the lift, the extension cord is not protected by this device. Refer to the operating manual for complete instructions on using an extension cord with the lift. Emergency Stop Switch There is an emergency stop switch located inside the lift car. This switch will prevent lift car movement when it is depressed. This switch should be periodically tested by pushing it in and verifying that the lift car will not raise or lower. This switch is reset by rotating the button clockwise. Gate Interlock The lower landing gate will not open unless the lift car is at ground level. The upper landing gate is blocked from opening unless the lift car is at the upper landing. Gate Switches Both gates must be closed for the lift to function. The gates are self-closing so that the user does not need to pull the gates closed. Safety Underpan The entire underside of the lift is protected by a safety underpan, which will stop the lift platform if it encounters an obstruction during descent. If this occurs, the lift platform can be operated upward to allow removal of the obstruction. Manual Raising and Lowering The lift has a hydraulic hand pump that can be used to raise or lower the lift car in the event of a loss of power to the lift or when installing or removing the casters when electric power is unavailable. The hand pump can be accessed through either the inner or the outer access panel in the right machinery cabinet. Before operating the pump, remove the pump handle from its storage bracket inside the outer access panel and insert it into the pump linkage. To raise the lift car, pump the handle. To lower the lift car, first push down on the directional valve knob and turn it counterclockwise. Then insert the pump handle into the pump linkage and pump. To return the lift to normal operation, Return the directional valve knob to its original position by depressing the knob and rotating it clockwise. Only use the handle provided with the pump. If this handle does not provide enough leverage to move the lift car, stop pumping immediately and contact a repair technician. Setup. Maneuver the lift until the upper landing end is 1 to 3 inches from and approximately parallel to the edge of the upper landing or stage. The setup location must be flat and level with enough area for a minimum of 12 inches of clear access on both sides of the lift 
and a minimum of 5 feet in front of the lower landing gate. Check the selected location for any obstruction that would hamper the operation of the lift. Additionally, make sure that there is a minimum clear space of 5 feet at the upper landing. Do not set up the unit in any location that does not allow for these minimum space requirements as this could create an unsafe condition for users of the lift. Plug the power cord into a grounded 120 volt electrical outlet and use an operating switch to raise the lift car at least 12 inches off the ground. Remove all four casters from the lift car underside by pulling them straight down and place them in the caster storage brackets in the left hand machinery cabinet according to their color codes. Use the operating switch located inside the lift car to move the lift car upward until it stops. Open the inner access panel on the left hand machinery cabinet and remove the height adjustment tool from its storage bracket. Use the adjustment tool to remove the magnetic optical reflector from the vertical guide rail. To do so, place the adjustment tool on the reflector, turn it clockwise a quarter turn to engage the reflector, and then pull the reflector off the guide rail. Use an operating switch to move the lift car so the lift car floor is approximately level with the upper landing. Open the upper landing gate completely. Verify that the dock plate rests securely on the upper landing and provides a smooth, level, and safe transition to and from the lift car. With the lift car at the correct height, use the height adjustment tool to reattach the reflector to the vertical guide rail. Twist the adjustment tool a quarter turn counterclockwise to disengage it from the reflector after placing the reflector on the guide rail. You should see a red dot at the bottom edge of the reflector. Lower the lift car several inches and then raise it again until it stops automatically. Reposition the optical reflector if necessary until the lift car stops at the correct height. Return the height adjustment tool to the tool holder in the left hand machinery cabinet. The lift is ready for use. Important. The height adjustment must be reset every time the lift is relocated so that the lift car stops at the upper landing and the dock plate rests securely on the upper landing when the upper landing gate is open. Failure to do so could result in serious injury to the user. Also, always close and lock all access panels and remove all keys before leaving the lift unattended. Never leave the lift unattended during the setup process. Relocation. Plug the power cord into a grounded 120 volt electrical outlet and use an operating switch to move the lift car upward at least 12 inches. Remove all four casters from the left hand machinery cabinet and install them into the color coded sockets located at the corners of the lift car underside. The rigid casters, marked yellow, must be oriented so the lift will roll forward and backward. When correctly installed, the casters will not slide out without being pulled straight down. Hold an operating switch down to lower the lift car. Continue to hold the switch down until the casters are on the ground and the base is raised about 5 inches off the ground. Unplug the electrical cord and coil it inside the lift car. The lift is ready to be moved. Important: Always close and lock all access panels and remove all keys before leaving the lift unattended. Never leave the lift unattended while placing it in transport mode. Push the lift at its lower landing end. As you push the lift, you will observe that the casters closest to you are able to swivel. Use these casters to steer the lift. Operation. Both gates must be closed for the lift to operate. Locate the three operating switches on the lift. One is beside the lower landing gate, one is inside the lift car, and one is beside the upper landing gate. Holding any operating switch up will raise the lift car. Holding any operating switch down will lower the lift car. 
For instructions on using the lift outdoors, refer to the operating manual. The safety underpan on the underside of the lift car will stop the lift car if it encounters an obstruction during descent. If this occurs, the lift car can be operated upward to allow removal of the obstruction. Transportation and Storage One person can easily move the lift on a level, hard, and smooth surface. At least two able-bodied people are required to move the lift on inclined surfaces since the lift weighs approximately 850 pounds. For movement over rough surfaces, long distances, or steep inclines, a forklift is required. Prepare the lift for transport and approach the lift on the upper landing side at the underside of the base. The forklift tines should be spaced at 24 inches outside to outside. The forklift tine locations are marked on the lift. Only use the forklift when the lift is on its casters in transport mode. Do not attempt to pick up the lift from the lower landing end. The lift should be stored with its base on the ground and the power cord unplugged and coiled inside the lift car. Always ensure that the ground underneath the lift base is clear of any obstructions, including the lift's power cord, prior to lowering the base to the ground. Troubleshooting If the lift does not operate after setup, check the following items. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Make sure that the ground fault circuit interrupter on the power cord is reset. Push the reset button in if necessary. Make sure that the emergency stop switch is not activated. Reset it by rotating the button clockwise to reset if necessary. Make sure that the outlet has power. Check to make sure the lift car's safety underpan is hanging freely and evenly from the underside of the lift car. The lift car will not operate downward if the safety underpan is actuated. Make sure that both gates are closed. The lift will not function with either gate open. If the lift still fails to operate, unplug the unit and consult the complete troubleshooting section in your maintenance and repair manual. If the problem cannot be resolved with the help of the maintenance and repair manual, call Ascension. We know you are going to enjoy the use of your Ascension Protégé portable wheelchair lift. You can contact Ascension by telephone at 1-800-459-0400. Or by email at sales at wheelchairlift.com. Or check out Ascension on the web at wheelchairlift.com.